Sir Alex Ferguson refused to be drawn into any title talk amid the race for the Premier League crown between Manchester United's fierce rivals Arsenal and Manchester City. The legendary United boss won the coveted prize a record 13 times during his trophy-laden 27-year spell as the club's manager. But United have failed to win it again since the last of those triumphs a decade ago in the 2012-13 season, and despite building up brief optimism they could challenge this term, their hopes were ended by a 7-0 humiliation at the home of their other rivals Liverpool. That leaves league leaders Arsenal to shoot it out with United's neighbours City over the final weeks of the season as the Gunners currently hold a five-point gap, though with a showdown between the two sides on the horizon on April 26. Yet Ferguson had no interest in picking his favourites to finish top when quizzed by ITV at Cheltenham Festival. Man City or Arsenal, Sir Alex? ITV's Matt Chapman asked at the end of a brief interview aired live from Prestbury Park. A stone-faced Ferguson paused for a moment, before replying, I am not interested. Chapman couldn't help but laugh, drawing a wry smile from Ferguson, before the broadcaster quipped, Very good answer, very sensible. You know the game don't you, Sir Alex? Ferguson is a big racing fan and is a regular at meetings throughout the annual calendar. His horse, Hermes Allen, for which he is a part owner, ran in the opening race during Wednesday's schedule at Cheltenham, though sadly did not finish on the podium in the Ballymore Novices hurdle. The 81-year-old was also in attendance on Tuesday when Rachel Blackmore rode Honeysuckle to victory in the Close Brothers Mare's Hurdle. Free £2 shop bet with William Hill every day of the Cheltenham Festival. Plus all the fantastic daily coverage you need pick up your daily star every day of the festival for racing specials, day-by-day -day updates and free bet every day. Celebrate the biggest racing week of the year the Cheltenham Festival. One of the most prestigious national hunt meetings of the calendar is not to be missed, and we've got a bumper week of amazing content and great reader offers. Find out more here, it was Honeysuckle's final ever race before retirement and an emotional occasion, with Blackmore paying tribute after the race to Jack de Bromhead, son of the horse's trainer Henry who died in a tragic accident whilst racing back in September, aged just 13. Speaking of Blackmore's triumph, Ferguson said, It was unbelievable, honeysuckle. I don't think anyone was left without a tear. Everyone felt the emotion of the thing and the jockey and the trainer. Absolutely fantastic day. Now